So that water that runs off the windshield up here, it's been raining. You see where it runs? Right down next to that fuse box. Sometimes if it's bad enough, that water will run off of here and it will flood this area right here and it will get on that box and it will saturate it and you'll get these fuse boxes that fill up with water. So really, ideally, what I would like to happen is what Ford should come up with for these problems is they need to make like a tray or a trough that you can actually adapt to this area right here something that will slip and slip over this and it will have a channel that will come down here to this bolt and bolt in and that water could run along this and drip out right here versus right up there by that fuse box and cause all those issues where we get water in these fuse boxes i wonder if i could make go ahead and make the assembly first and put it here that would be a good idea I could make that piece to go there and route that water away from that box and and route it here in this area where it's all sheathed in plastic loom fucking everything and it could just drip straight down and get it away from that box. Look at that. Look at that. Some of the water actually getting on the box. We're going to do a little bit of an upgrade to a 2019 F350 Lariat Power Stroke. We ended up getting uh, the new filter, the cat filter and adapter from MDD Performance. Isn't it MDD Performance? MDD Performance. Um, it's like a, is it a hundred and a half? So 150 bucks for the kit or something like that ballpark or something like that i know they were out of stock for a while because they were taking pre-orders or they were it was, a, it was like a pre-order thing and that's a pre-order people were flooding them uh this just showed up and uh we're gonna go ahead and stick this on this truck basically you pull the factory filter off this gets put up there and torqued to 30 foot pounds and then the cat filter it's up to you on what you want to do. Some guys like pre-filling a filter this big. We're going to go ahead and pre-fill it. And we are going to just normal oil service like you normally would. And then this will then spin onto the new adapter. And that adapter goes onto the factory mount. And now you've upgraded your capacity another quart and a quarter. So you 14.25. So you went from 13 quarts to 14.25 with the new filter and adapter assembly. And it's a high efficiency filter, so um, anytime that you're up, you're increasing oil capacity and uh, basically add pack for that engine to run and have more reserve there, you are doing the engine better service in the long run, health-wise. Uh, you have to think about cooling capability and everything, more capacity in the system in general. It is going to be uh, a little bit more expensive to do your oil changes, but it is what it is. You want a better truck, you want a, you want a better filter, you want a better setup, then you're going to have to pay the extra price for it. So let's get this on the truck. So you're going to take the 2051S, which is the old filter. The new filter that Ford has is a 2124. It looks like a full synthetic media in the factory one. And now we're going to a bigger capacity cat with the new adapter. So we'll go ahead and get this assembly off and get the new cat adapter and the cat filter on. So we're gonna use a JM3 oil filter wrench to go ahead and get this thing off of here. Uh, if you guys haven't seen this thing, it, it is it basically is a universal OE kit that it'll grab the outside of these flutes on this filter and you can use it for Chrysler or you can use it for Can use it for Ford. You can use it for a lot of the standard American stuff. I just use it all the time, whether or not I have a stuck filter or not. It's just nice for me to have. 
it's comfortable I don't have to pull out any straps or anything like that and if I need to I have the backing part of this where I can wrench into if I get a stuck filter but I just use it normal no, nothing crazy so that's at jm3oilfilterwrench.com for those of you that are interested let's let this drain for a second and then we'll get the engine oil out of here as well we're going to do a complete oil change while we're here and uh i'll show you the next step i mean just the, oh, yeah. the flow cap capability on her just well, and i can also see how contaminants would be for the caterpillar so a little bit of that oil going around there on that thing it's all it's it's done the fill thing and whatever yeah and it's supposed to be torqued to 30 foot pounds, so I'm going to find the socket. I'm going to get it torqued to 30 foot pounds. All right, so I got 22 mil up here. I'm torquing it to 30 foot pounds. Torque wrench over here is on this side. It's 30 foot pounds. Now, for the sake of the owner, the owner. He wants his filter pre-filled because that's a lot of oil to not have in there on a dry start. So I do understand. I do understand even though the owner is just really worried about his vehicle and the owner is recording right now. Uh, you actually don't need to pre-fill these. And uh, if you know a guy on social media, I think it's BK Diesel or something like that. He recently did a generator that had like eight of these in a row that were twice the size of these. And what does he say? It would take forever to sit there and pre-fill every single one of these filters. I stick them on, I torque them, and I let it ride. And within seconds, all that oil is filled up in all those filters. But I'm going to do what the owner wants me to do. Let's pre-fill it. So what I like to do is I like to find a plug for this. Pause it. Let's go ahead. Yep. Yeah, it should, be, it should be somewhere on my box right here or over there by the truck, one or the other. Come get a shot down the center of it. And you can see it filling up. Alright, come over and get a shot. It's about to top off. No, 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 no. Get closer. Try to make sure it all goes through the holes and barely spills through the center because that way it's properly pre-filling the filter. Those of you that dump straight down the center, that is not a proper pre-fill. If you're gonna do it, do it from the holes on the outside and try to keep as much out of the center as possible. That is a proper pre-fill. So let's take some of the oil that's on the top of this here. Let's move over to the truck and let's get this locked in. Pause it. And then. So if you read the directions here on the side, it'll tell you 
go until you make contact and then do one turn. So we go until we make contact. So that's con uh, I'm starting to that's contact right there. So let's look for this spot right here to come back around one full turn is what they want. So I don't know if we got it or not because the message came up when you're right in mid sentence and went rolling. So we kind of ran out of memory right there for a second, but this four was kind of like right here. And when you read the menu here on the side, it says the filter. So the filter here says to go ahead and run it up until you make contact and then you go plus one turn. So I'm almost there, but I got to go just a little bit more and it's getting hard. So I'm going to go get a dry rag so I can do that. I don't know if I'll... Here, you're going to have to... Do it from there like this. Got just it? do it from back. Make it like a... It don't have to be perfect. Okay, so now where's the... Okay, here we're going. <sighs> right there. So I've got it one full turn after contact all the way around. So now let's wipe all our filter base off here. How about that on your Super Duty? Look out, that's big. That's a big girl. Well, let's go ahead and finish the oil change, get it all fired up, and let's see what it looks like. Or let's check it out while it's running. And just for uh, comparison's sake here, let's look at the difference in size. That's tiny. Compared to that cat filter. Now there is another size down on the cat filter, but the owner of this truck wanted the uh, larger capacity one, so he paid the extra money. Bought a couple of them and uh, to keep to have some in stock. And there it is. And this is the owner of the truck's process. This is what he likes to do. This is the Lucas Pure Synthetic. I think this is equivalent to what they call a 40 weight. The other stuff is like a 110 weight or something like that. Yeah, this is a 40 weight. So this is one quart here, and then it's, what is it, 2.25 quarts in the filter? Good catch. I think what it is is it's 3.25 uh, quarts total in the filter down there. We're gonna look. It's 1.25 more than factory, and I think factory is one quart. So this kit is 67-PS-OIL-CAT. It's 11 to 23, 67F250 to 550s. And here's all your information. So if you get the smaller cat filter, you're adding three quarter quart. If you're adding, if you're going to the big cat filter, which we did here, it's one and a quarter quarts over factory. So we will put 13 in here and then add 1.25 to it. So, so far, we got one quart of Lucas in here. So this is a gallon and we took two quarts out of this total for that filter to fill it up. So we got three total. So we got three in there total so far. We'll go ahead and dump the rest of this. And that will be five. This is the Shell Rotella T6 5W40 full synthetic formula. It's the synthetic extreme temperature. All right, we got 14.125 quarts in the system total right now. We're gonna let everything settle, pop the oil cap off and check the oil level real quick, make sure everything's full. All right, so let's pull it, check it.
I'm sure it's above because we haven't circulated through the filter. No. No. Nope. Oh, it's fine. Because we topped the filter off, and then gotcha. we put we put exactly what the system was supposed to hold. So no matter what, because the filter was topped off all the way to the top, it shouldn't. It, it should negligible yeah. effect on the dip. It should have very minimal. Yep. It's fucking dead on, dead nuts on. Dead on the money. And if I can get it to focus, hold this part so don't. Dead nuts, right? Right here, right at the top of this. And once you start it, it'll probably drop down just a hair as things get circulated, and it'll be somewhere in here, but it's right on. Well, you know what? I could go ahead and. What do you think of my nice fucking powder coated hot side pipe? Looks pretty, does nothing for it, but it looks pretty. Who'd you get it from? SNS? Uh, yeah, I did their, uh, their fold side in that one. Aaron put that on last time I was out. You want to start it? Yeah. Is this garbage? Um, except for this one here. I'll take, I can take them all, right? Well, if you can throw it out, that'd be great too. No. <laughs> hey, no ticks, no nothing. And oil pressure. Good? Dead nuts? Alright. Shut her down. <laughs>